Hey folks, it's a flawed man here uh, with another video for you. You'll have to excuse the uh, the dimmer lighting tonight. My uh, son is nearby trying to uh, sleep after movie night tonight. I wanted to do this video, however, um, to conclude what I was talking about in the previous video. My last video was about money and how it can be a distraction and a point of uncertainty in regards to your faith because it is something um, that is very personal. Finances are a personal thing. And while I feel like I did a good job um, illustrating that it was a, um, that it could be a distraction um, and it could make you try to question what you're supposed to do in a situation where you have much, where you're comfortable with what you have, or you don't have much. And uh, what I don't think I did well was really wrap all that up and conclude it. I felt like that video might have lasted a little bit longer than it should have, and I think I rambled a little bit more uh, than was necessary. Uh, so this video will hopefully be much shorter. And with that said, I would love to just con to wrap all this up about money. It's a complex issue. There's going to be a lot of feelings about it, um, and you are, depending on your personality, perhaps attached to what you earn. Let's just say this. What you have here in this world is going to stay in this world. Um, but heaven is not a place for the rich or the poor or the middle class. It is for people. It is not about what's um, in your bank account at the end of the day, at the end of your life. It's about what you did with what you have and what you did with what you were given. Were you able to um, to to work and do things that were that would make God proud because you were blessed with much were you comfortable in your position and yet still found time, found time to uh, try to lift up other people in need and be a good example um, as a Christian or were you um, were you constantly in a position where you were scrounging but doing what you could to make sure that you were taking care of your family and and still supporting supporting the church in whatever way you could, even if it wasn't in a financial sense. Because there we go. Because what you're given um, in life is not just about cash. And and you are also you can also be blessed with just personality traits or physical gifts. Um, all these things that you have that when you think about it, that you can count it back as a blessing. Did you use that in a positive aspect? Did, like I said earlier, did you use it in a way that would make God proud? If you were blessed with money, did you invest it? Did you use it to help lift people up? Did you put it back into mission work or the church or, um, or just charity? Or did you do it on a per, did you just do it on your own and found just unique ways in which to take extra money when you, when an opportunity arose to invest it in in the in, in things that benefited your fellow man in a in a spiritually uplifting sense um, that's the that's the point of all this um, it and I want it I want to make sure that people know don't get wrapped up so much in finances that you lose the point of of what um, what God uh, wants to wants to see out of, out of you, He wants to see you be your best. That include that's a multifaceted approach, and finances and, and and what you do with your money is an aspect of that. But there, but also be mindful enough and be humble enough to read the what's written in the Bible about it and take it to heart. And, and and try to apply it in everyday life. If you do that, if you do that earnestly, if you do that with with real humility, I think you'll be fine. And I think in the end, um, you'll find that it's it's very rewarding on its own. Anyways, this is the end of the week. I've gotten a couple videos in. I'm glad I did it. I'm hoping you're getting stuff out of this. If you did, leave a comment. Tell me what you think like and subscribe to this channel and please again let me know what you're thinking i'd love to hear back and see what see how um what i'm saying 
is helping you, hurting you, or making you laugh. Either way, um, have a good evening and have a good weekend. God bless.